All right, we just imported all of our footage into Premiere Pro. Uh, we can open up our footage folder here within our project and we can look through it. It's all organized, it's beautiful. We can double click on any of these files to preview, making sure our footage is in the right place. We've got camera angle three there. We've got camera angle two here. We've got camera angle one here. And then we have our wide shot as well, our full body shot. We have you know, that one there as well. So four different camera angles we're gonna be working off of. We also have all of our sequences that we created, YouTube, Story, IG, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. We have Instagram, we have our vertical and square versions for that. And we also have our audio file. So we're gonna be double clicking our audio file. Um, as you can see, this one is actually still generating peaks for this 67, but we can go ahead and drag it um, and drop it straight into our timeline so we can get a sense. Now, I'm gonna actually just be working off a section of this audio for the sake of this tutorial. Um, this session was recording podcasts back to back to back, so this audio file actually contains multiple episodes. Um, and you might be wondering why it's just one file. So for this particular podcast, uh, the client is recording all of the microphones. So we can take a look at you know, all these mics here. We're running Shure SMBs and they're all going into a roadcaster. And that roadcaster is combining all of these um, audio files through a uh, audio board onto a single SD card, which spits out a single file. I will include a bonus video in this section that you can watch if you aren't just editing one audio file. Let's say, for example, these microphones were not recorded um, through a soundboard and we have three separate audio files. Well, in that extra tutorial, you can go ahead and skip over to that. I will show you how to create a multi-track edit for podcast production so that you can edit those audio files, make them all sound good, and combine them into one audio file within Adobe Audition. But if you are working off of a single audio file, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to edit and produce this so that it sounds a bit better than just coming off the microphone. So we're gonna go ahead and right click on this audio file once you've dragged and dropped it into Premiere Pro. And you're gonna go ahead up to edit clip in Adobe Audition and click on that. Now it is important that you've already installed Adobe Audition on your computer. So again, the prerequisites for this course were download and install Adobe Premiere Pro and download and install Adobe Audition. And what's cool is after you've installed Adobe Audition, you don't even need to open it up um, for this to work. It's going to go ahead and render you know, all this audio within Premiere Pro and just send it over, automatically open it up in Adobe Audition, and we'll have a little more ability to edit that audio there. Um, we'll be able to normalize it, equalize it, process it, and make sure that you know all these voices are similar in volume so that when we produce this final podcast you know one of the guests isn't much louder than the other it's one of the main issues with a lot of podcasts so this is going to render and replace we'll be back once this file opens up in adobe audition